Alright, uh, this is the second video where I was going to just quickly show off uh, this other challenge lock I've created. Um, again, using a chrome body plug from a 234M45 Lockwood, and uh, this time it is going to sit in its own original sort of housing. Um, anyway, so right, just to show that this is the key for it. Doesn't look that amazing, but it works. And yeah, so let's get to the voodoo that's in here. Oh, come on. Things are always longer than you anticipate them to be. There we go. Let's take that off. And so I just hand cut this key for it. And let's make sure that I get this correct and don't screw it up. So there are my key pins. Nothing too special. Um, I won't dump all of these out because they're just stocks. Uh, so I think so, there might be one or two brass in ones in here from a repinning kit. The others would be originals, the steel ones, the polished ones from. Um, the 234 M45. Alright, let's get to the fun stuff. Okie dokie. So, our first pin, oops, spring loaded, went fly. I'm just going to stick this in here so I can take out the, sp oh, the, sp the springs are a bit variable too. Um, I won't show those quite yet. They're not that special. Let's get to the fun stuff. Though. Yeah, I remember. Okay. So I'm going to take this out first to actually show what's in it. Come on. Yes. Alright. So, in here we've got this little tiny little wafer guy and then we've got this uh, basically it was a screw that's been cut off from a, it was a screw from a bicycle spoke and the bicycle spoke has since been turned into a tension tool um, and basically this is meant to operate as a um, as a T-pin we've got the wafer that sits basically above the uh, uh, above this little little bar so that basically the spring will still work um, getting this guy in can be a little fiddly I basically, usually my trick is if the camera can pick that up, I kind of lie him in there and then I gently swivel him into place. But, anyway, this I've p tried picking this, I cannot get it. And I remember that bar being basically just endless serrations um, is a real pain towards the end of the pick, and you can get caught up on it really early too if you don't realize it. This is a flywheel style pin in pin with no spring and it uses a standard Schlage, Schlage 
sergeant, sorry, standard sergeant pins, I think, just a standard serrated one that has had a, a cut a hole through it. So that was number three. Oh, this guy. This is one of my favorite and probably best pins I've made yet. Let's show this one off. Um, it's a better black, probably more matte black background. If I could summon one, but that would be great. Oh, old sock. You have been called into service. So this has been done such that we have... It's like a spool, but it's got serrations in the depth of the spool and right at the very end. So you'll come through, um, and then you'll hit in this first sort of lump and then it will go into another one and then you basically got a final fat one to clear just when you think you've fully cleared the spool. So that one's a lot of fun. And I think we've got two more. Uh, that's just a standard serrated from that sergeant. And another stock standard. Just to keep things interesting. Anyway. Um, I'll be probably putting this together and I'll be probably mailing this out to another keypicking.com uh, user. Uh, have fun guys. Cheers.